You're listening to Big Facts with Big Bank and DJ Scream. Live for first class sounds, you know who it is. It's DJ Scream. Big Bank is here. Baby Jade is here. OG Shante. Shy Jones. And we are here for What's another Big deal? Facts Friday. What up? What I got to get everybody up? energy up. Yeah. Everybody. And the crowd goes wild. Oh, man, wake up. We alive. We <laughs> blessed. <laughs> What's up, everybody? What up? What's, What's happening? What's the word? What's the word for the day? The word of the day is serenity. Serenity. Okay, okay. so let's get into these definitions. So okay, let's break down serenity. The... Textbook saltine definition is the state of being calm, peaceful, and untroubled. And the urban definition is some shit that really doesn't make sense. But basically it's saying that serenity is the whole package. Damn, she looks good. What? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this shit don't make no sense. (laughs) Yeah, sometimes that urban be like tripping. Kind of jerbing. That's a good word because I've definitely been working on my peace and calmness, man. What you been doing, big homie? I just try not to let words and opinions affect me. Mm. Cause that's that's like the flaw of mine. Mm. What does it take to truly be at peace? What does it truly take? And does it not differ? Does it, does, it, not but does, it dif- does it differ from different people? Some yes. people's peace is with some people's peace. Some is people's with, peace is being high. Some people's peace is being high. Some people's peace is being quiet. But some people's peace is noise. Some people are at peace when they like. Because I know, like, like for on, instance, you know like, even though he doesn't do it anymore, I know, like, Black is kind of at his best. I ain't gonna tell him his piece. Like, you know, when he's <laughs> when he's under the influence because he's a lot more, like, I don't give a fuck. But that don't be, yeah, 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 yeah. But is that true? But you're not, not at peace. Is yeah, that's that true peace. Though. Right. Right. My peace is, I don't give, I don't need, because I don't smoke. Well, I just stopped smoking for a minute. You know what I'm saying? But I still a little fast. backwood up here now and then. A little yeah. fast, yeah. But peace is in your mind, I think. Peace of mind. Yeah, peace. That's what is, I was yeah, saying. your peace mind got to be at peace. Peace of mind. If you smoking, if I smoke a blunt, it could temporarily have me calm, but I don't be at peace because when I, when I come down, shit, I'm back thinking about bullshit. Yeah, I ain't never getting high again because, unfortunately... <laughs> oh, your side of baby, big facts. Uh, you want to tell everybody about yeah. the, <laughs> the, the, the out. <laughs> I had a goddamn, I had an edible like an hour and a half before, and I've eaten the edibles. Before. And orange juice for my people out there that know <laughs> that boosted. And I, you know, what I'm saying I ain't think it was gonna be a big deal because I've eaten edibles before and been fine. But that shit had me like, man, I felt like a Fable. like a three thousand pound gorilla. <laughs> was sitting on top of me and it wouldn't get off like Shante. my whole I swear to god my whole body was high I, like I, I couldn't even feel my arms and my legs or shit you so feel- like in the interview <laughs> niggas thought that you know like I was trying to be funny with the nigga or you know what I'm saying or cause of some other shit from another interview or like just all kind of crazy shit I was seeing in the comments yeah. but I was actually out of my body like I couldn't Function. You was geeked. To be at peace, you can't read comments either. Oh God. Oh God. Woo. Yeah. True. Because I was reading comments. that. This my first time seeing them was this morning. Yeah. You know, we did an interview like two weeks ago or whatever. Yeah. Man, I was like, damn, that's what these people really think of me. Like I was like, yeah, like I came in here and asked y'all, like, should I address the shit or is, not? And I was it, like, is it you can't read comments or is it you shouldn't give a fuck about the comments? You can't internalize the comments. If you know you give a fuck about them, you can't you read. You can't them. read them. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. But if you can read them without giving a fuck, then read them. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because oh, yeah. sometimes it might motivate you to get them go harder. Yeah, and I don't give a fuck either. I comments. just like, I just was like, damn, like that shit just kind of threw me off because I was like, damn, like. I'm never the only thing that really like took me out in the comments. I didn't give a fuck about it. nothing nobody said, but it was like some people in there that were saying that I was unprofessional. Mm. Like, and that that's that's what hit me. Mm. Like the unprofessional part, because I'm professional to the death. Yeah. But like, damn, <laughs> yeah. you no, always like, late. I try to be. I try to, during the interview, once I get here, okay. when I finally get I here, am screaming. I'm professional as fuck. Like. But no, nah, like I was just like, damn, like that shit was just, that shit was just crazy how people can perceive shit one way and not know what's going on and then take it and twist but it. But they gotta create a hate. perception because they don't know what's going on. I think to be not truly, to say they were right. Yeah. I think to be truly at peace, you gotta clear your heart too. Facts, big facts. You know what I'm saying? True, and you big gotta facts. do what works for you. Like I don't do social media because I'm gonna entertain it. 
So for me to be at peace, <laughs> you gonna what, Big Shante? I'm gonna entertain it. You gonna be off that bullshit, huh? Most definitely, <laughs> especially when it comes to surf shit. I'm gonna entertain it. So for me, I have never had social media, period, because mm. I will not be at peace. You mm. ever had a Finsta? I never had an Instagram. She said, "Hey, do you got a fake page?" No, I ain't got no fake page. Well, no <laughs> that sound kind of questionable, yeah, Shante. Yeah, that sound kind of. She was like, Ugh. "Yeah." All right then. <laughs> but yeah, but one of my kids page for the most part. But yeah, yeah. And I I'm I tell them like say this, say this. They like, nah, mom, I can't say that. I'm like, oh shit, I can't have this shit. Yeah. <laughs> Cause I'ma say something. <laughs> nah, you gotta clear your heart, man. Like yeah. for real, cause you could be holding on to some shit that throw you off your game and these people don't even give a fuck about the shit you holding on to. Like old past relationships, yeah, friendships. People with your family, you know what I'm saying? Issues, you gotta just release that shit. Mm -hmm. That's why right now I'm releasing mine. Anybody that feel like they got a problem with me, I don't have a problem with nobody. You know what I'm saying? If any relationship that went sour, I apologize for my part, and I forgive you for you your part. You ain't being the bigger man. Real shit, I'm at yeah, peace, I like bro. It. I'm proud. I'm, of my I'm dog, looking for man. my serenity. I'm proud. And this of my is dog, the hardest man. shit I probably ever do in my life. But if you feel like you just got a problem with me, hey man, that's your issue. Cause I don't got no problem with nobody. I feel the same way. That's the only way I'm going to get to my peace. You know what I'm saying? Letting opinions and, and words affect you, that's a sign of weakness. Facts. Facts. Real shit. And Facts. I had to get to that point because I was the weakest. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm letting that shit get to me. Like, I got a question. What's up? Is it a sign of weakness, even if it's coming from somebody that you um, value opinion or somebody you really but, care about? Like, if your mom or... Your grandma or your wife telling you something that you know what I'm saying? No, nah, but not to me. Yeah, like not what? to what me. It's what? a weakness if it's people that really don't give a fuck about you anyway. Exactly. Mm. You know what I'm saying? They exactly. don't give a fuck if what happened in your life, your kids' life, your mama' life, nothing. No, if, if somebody in my family or yeah, somebody that I care that about matters. tell me something, I gotta take that in. For what right. it is, so that's if not you weak. know for a fact that they genuinely have your best interest at heart, but anything if, else, fuck it. But like, if you're a no. family member, my wife, whoever you gossiping about me, you already showing me you don't give a fuck about me, so fuck you. Mm. Yeah, you get what I'm saying? Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. right? Not necessary. Oh, I have another question. How? What you say? Oh, you must have been somewhere gossiping. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I was going to ask. Is it gossiping if, like, for example, um, Jade and Shantae? They're close, and you know you married to Shantae. If Jay, if Shantae and Jade is having a conversation about bank and his well being, is that considered gossiping? No. If you're like, no, no, no. no. like, because I feel like both of them care about me. Yeah. But if she talking to a motherfucker that don't give no fuck about me, then what's that? That's, that's not op shit. Gossip that's different. Gossiping that's is generally that's what I'm saying. providing information people ain't even asked for. That's the root of no gossiping, gossiping is providing information, providing classified information. <laughs> To a nigga or a bitch that doesn't have anything to do with the situation and doesn't again have the they best have interest. But women do, do, they do, have do that, do it. and you know guys we do that, that as we well. We talk to our homegirls like, "Girl, let me tell you what he did." Right, he without without home. them, but without them even asking As, what he yeah, did. Yeah, because we got to get it out. You know what I'm saying? We talking, we having a call. Because nine times out of ten, they telling me about their situation too. Yeah, but this is somebody. That you trust that has also exactly. provided you with the same information. classified information right. about their situation. But exactly. I can respect yeah. it. I can respect it if you telling a friend that I know want to see us when? do better. I can't yes. respect if you telling a friend that I know want to suck my dick. I agree. Mm, facts. I agree. Facts. That's why she went on, on, on. Huh? That's why she went on, on, on. Who? <laughs> oh, you <know> <laughs> yeah, you don't. You don't need to be on no mic. Yeah, <laughs> screaming. <laughs> yeah, but y'all get what I'm Tell saying. Tell it, Shante. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Serenity. I feel like it's peace. <laughs> I'm like Shante. What you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck? This is a fucking interview. <laughs> Name drop, Shante. <laughs> nah, but y'all oh, know what, what I'm talking about, bro. Yeah. If, if if you know a relationship that, that just can't be fixed, why do you give a fuck what they somewhere saying? Right. That fucks up your peace. Agree. Like they upset. Let them be upset. You can't get upset every time somebody come tell you what a person said about you. How's that making you upset? That means they can control you. Facts. Hmm. I think that some people just 
they care about what people think too much. Yes. yes. And then yeah. I think that like sometimes the perception of how people perceive you can really bother a person. Because I know for me sometimes like it irks my soul to the core if somebody say Shy Jones is selfish. Like so now I'm gonna try to get all the way down to why you think I'm selfish. What the fuck happened? And it may to so some people think like shy I care too much but for me it's just like that's just one of those things that irk me to a core but it could be that you may feel like you slick selfish it's it not even like that. that and that's why it bothers you that's if why it hurts you like her. that it, it might deep make down, you feel you might, like, like deep you, down, have, you might have had a selfish action in the past that you just haven't gotten over or some shit or a selfish moment you know somebody broke this down to me the other day they was like most only children like only child like somebody that's the only child we have we tend to have selfish qualities yeah, these because toys. we yeah mm-hmm. because we grew up in like um, survival and like I only here to protect myself I don't have to like protect nobody right. else because we never had to right. but see them facts let me say yeah. something let me say something shot because I'm an only child too mm-hmm. I feel like sometimes yeah okay whatever but I feel like a lot of only children are so used to being alone and being by themselves to when. They get into situations with other people. They overcompensate and try to sh- overshare because they're so like they're because when they were little, they wanted like company and shit. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? They wanted like the little brothers and the little sisters in the house. And you know, you know what I'm saying? Way, like though. Yeah. Because yeah. some people could be like, this how I always been. I always just got one bike. No, you can't ride my bike. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And then it go the way you say it go yeah, both ways. Yeah, like me, I, I like... I give all my shit away because, like, you know what I'm saying? I want to see people with the same shit that I have. But I had to learn as an adult that, like, that shit don't work because, like, people don't appreciate shit. That's true, too. Like, for real, for real. Like, I don't know. I got a three-headed question. So, can you find peace? Can you find peace if you're in a fucked up financial situation? That's one. Can you find peace... Can you find peace like if you're knee deep in the streets, like really at the climax of just in the streets, like beefing and all that crazy shit? And then the third one is, can you find peace if you're in a bad or toxic relationship? I feel like you can find it, but I feel like it's necessary to get away from that. Mm. You got to find peace in order not to be stuck in that cycle. You get what I'm saying? But if you, like, if you don't find peace inside yourself, you're going to always look at it for what it is instead of looking at it for what it is. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? You're going to look at it for what you think it is. Mm. But what if somebody wake up and they prayers, man, I want to find peace, but I'm in a fucked up situation. I can't leave this second. What's the fucked up situation? They might be in the streets working, whatever the case is, and they can't leave this. They want to, but they can't leave it cold turkey. This is how they probably feed their folks. They need deep. But most beefs is just talk. Not even just if ain't nobody did nothing to you. Yeah, I hear what you say. He's saying financially. Yeah, you just what if you just drug dealing and you want out because you, know, you can't sleep right because you, you're looking over your shoulder? For oh no, nah, that come just, with that. Certain yeah. shit. When you sign up for certain shit, it just come with it. It come with it. So you can't find peace. I don't think you. But yeah. you could be at peace like that though. That's what I was if you, saying earlier. If you can, Some if you people learn, are at peace within turmoil. You got to learn how to balance. it. Yeah, if you know how to accept what come with what you're doing. Got you. You know what I'm saying? That's the same way with this shit with uh with big facts. People make comments on our shit like, uh, like them niggas saying at the time, they should have said whatever to uh, what the dude name. Nardo, Nardo on them. Nardo. We, we still yeah. was at peace with it like, oh, man. Because we, we knew on that. Yeah, we know our heart. Of, these niggas took a 20 second clip mm-hmm. and made a whole assumption about the shit, but they didn't even look at the whole interview to see where we were coming from mm-hmm. before that. It's how you receive shit. Clip. What's yeah. going gonna, gonna, gonna to disturb your peace. Just mm-hmm. what I'm saying. Like, mm-hmm. I look at like me within me right now. That's how I feel like I'm receiving some whole ass shit and taking it in like it really something that's affecting me when it's not. Because mm. I know I'm not a whole ass nigga to do some shit like that. So, like, why would I even internalize it's all it words. as that? It's all know? words and opinions. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? If somebody tell you, like, bro, you probably need an afro. I don't want no motherfucker afro. <laughs> why am I going to get upset about that? Right. Yeah. That's an opinion. Right. And words. That shit ain't going to affect my life. That shit ain't going to stop my money. That shit ain't finna stop my relationship. That shit ain't finna yeah. stop shit. So why am I even thinking about it? Mm. I think you fuck your own piece up. True. Facts. That's facts. Yeah. I agree. I For agree. sure. That's just how I feel. Like, and I just, some just came over me. <laughs> <laughs> I am crying. <laughs> some just came over me like, bro, you really doing this shit to yourself. All the stress, all the 
thoughts, all this shit, man. It, the, everything we need to know is in them books. That's why niggas don't know shit, because niggas don't read or listen to books, bro. Mm -hmm. The shit is in them books. The shit that you think is the worst shit, you doing it to yourself. All right. No, that's a fact. You worry about the past and the future instead of the moment. Mm. And you, All you, stress and you can't control how a person feel about you. They're going to feel however they feel. Facts. Regardless of what you show them. Whatever they want to feel, hate, whatever, they're going to mm. feel it. Facts. Yeah. You can show them some real shit. They still going to say, you fake as fuck. Yeah. Facts. That so is why so even true. waste your time even trying why to prove waste it? Your time. Nobody never stress about what's going on right now. Like right now, we could be sitting here chilling. But your stress coming from shit that happened yesterday or the shit that you think might happen tomorrow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you can't control neither one. You can't exactly. control the past or the future. You got to resonate exactly. with the present moment. That's the only thing you stress about is the past and the future. Yeah. You don't stress about goddamn. And then everything you worry about sometimes rarely never happen. That is right. so true. Or if you keep putting, <laughs> if you keep, but now if you keep putting too much mental power on it, you're going to manifest the bullshit. Yeah, you're going to manifest some energy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you'll manifest that shit. Yeah. For sure. You definitely can't change goddamn what happened yesterday. Can't. It already happened. That's why people be like, Shantae be like, like, you don't have no remorse or no regrets or shit by shit. I don't because that shit already done happened. Mm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like. You could be remorseful for something that's happened in the past. How? That's stress. Not necessarily just by um, identifying what you've done or how it may have affected other people. And then learning from that situation. Oh, that's no, for wonderful. sure. For sure. But I'm saying, like, things that you don't done to yourself. Mm. Not to nobody else. Like, hell yeah, if I did something to her and then, or whoever and my kids or whatever, hell yeah, I feel like I'm a, I'm, probably, I'm probably apologize to you for, for the rest of my life about that. Mm -hmm. yeah. But I'm saying, like, things that I've done, like the season that I made, if I went on Instagram and did some old bozo-ass shit, I can't keep thinking about that goddamn this shit. Um, last year, I'm still can't thinking keep, about this shit. Like, damn, I should have never done that. Can't keep beating yourself up. Yeah, I did. Yeah, you can't yeah, keep yeah, beating yeah. yourself up. That ain't peaceful. So do you think it's bullshit when people apologize for things that they've said years ago? Like how like social media now will bring up old tweets from like 2012 and then now people are going back and apologizing for things that they said like I, don't think I wouldn't apologize. Me neither. I wouldn't yeah, I don't apologize I don't because I at the end of the day if I said it in that moment that's how I felt. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? I want to only way I apologize for it if it's like to somebody I'm trying to make men's with or some shit. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Or I'm trying to move forward past that with this relationship mm -hmm. with like say things with my family or my wife or something. Then hell yeah, I'm finna apologize every day about that shit I used to be doing. Mm -hmm. Just let you know I ain't on that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But if it's like it's still gonna be fuck you and it's fuck me, I'm not. I'm not taking back what I said. That's how I felt in the moment. Mm -hmm. But well, like I was saying earlier, I'm saying I ain't saying I want to be buddy buddy with nobody ever again. But what I'm saying is I release. I'm clearing my heart of me feeling a way about some shit that I can never change. Gotcha. Yeah, but I feel like when it comes to shit like that, like apologizing about old tweets and shit like that. I feel like it can go like both ways. Like on one hand, the person could be apologizing because for lack of a better way to put it, they've been caught or, you know what I'm saying? The shit's been brought back up and they know that it's going to affect their money or affect their business or whatever. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. on the mm -hmm. other hand, it could be a fuck. situation where when they did the shit initially all those years ago, they could have apologized for it then. And now people are bringing it back up to like try to flip the situation on them. And they're just, like genuinely apologizing from a real place again to just like show that fucking extra remorse that they still had back then. But now that people are trying to bring it up and flip it, they might just really be like coming from a real genuine place. It could go like either way, but nine times out of 10, like a lot of people are apologizing because like Black said, if they said it in that moment, that's how they felt in that moment. And mm -hmm. the only reason that they're trying to clean it up is because it's going to affect their livelihood. That's see, I understand. See, certain shit in, in your character, you have to peep yourself and see where your flaw is in your character. And I, and I did that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? My flaw is I tell people the truth about them and they don't want to hear that. When a motherfucker lying to themselves, they hate you because you not going for the lie that they're lying to themselves. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? Like, if you come tell me some shit like, Jade come say, my hair is green, nigga. I be like, no, it ain't, Jade. That shit go. She done made herself believe that her hair is green. Mm -hmm. And I'm saying it's gold in front of everybody. Now she feel like I'm a fuck nigga. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. But so, she feel, but I'm gonna feel like you a fuck nigga because deep down on the inside, I know my hair ain't green. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like I'm telling you the truth, like that I already know, but I'm just trying you. to turn this shit into something else. Yeah, nah. Like, because I got I got these people. I kind of got these people looking like that is greenish. Is it our place to tell people about themselves <laughs> if they don't ask? Isn't that no. they know who it is? No. I feel like I feel, I feel like, like it depends. I feel like if if you my friend, I want you to tell me. Yeah, For me sure. too. Yeah. Like I if I really that. care about you and I'm and you're and I call you like my friends or my family, I feel like I'm obligated to tell you when you fucking up and I and yeah, be your friends, right. and but you're you got to count to how many friends too. do you really have. Say That's the time. thing. You got to count how many friends do you really have. Some of us got five at the most, but we talk to a hundred people. That is you true. You understand what I'm saying? Yes. So the other 95 no you shouldn't tell them the truth that's true and that's the problem what people are doing Facts we just you. say because we around each other so no. we think we friends no, no. no. Just you just hanging out you just hanging out see y'all yeah. some bullshit <laughs> I can be around a whole crowd of people and see a nigga pull up doing some shit or like everybody they was already talking about it before he came but you gonna say it yeah I'm gonna say it like but they say you got them <laughs> <laughs> oh, you messy. That's, yeah, that's, that's messy. That's, that's messy like, as a bitch. But, that's no, messy, baby. But, but for, to me, I feel fake if I can't tell you what we was already saying. Yeah. But no, no, no. But that's what, messy. I've learned, what I've learned too that's as messy. an adult. Like, <laughs> what you going to say behind <laughs> their back? Say that they fake. Yeah, I feel I live, like I might as well tell you, bro. But that's, that. that's how the world works. The but whole then y'all would say if a person, okay, boom. In that same situation, if we sit in here and we talking about uh, cash. Let's say we sitting here, we all talking about cash, and cash walk in the room. I'm gonna tell bang. her exactly what we was talking about. Like, but would you just tell her? You got down. Woo, woo, but woo, I'm woo, saying, woo. would you tell her right now in front of everybody? Hell like, yeah. If we feel oh, like we're uh, a family, yes. Okay, yeah. boom. Because she's so operating like a family between, member. If I was to be like, well, wait, would I be the messy one to wait, wait till yes. everybody leaves? That's yes. right. Yeah, that, that, that's messy. That's messy. Yes. I know. I'm asking a question. Yeah. That, that's yes. what you're trying to make yourself look like. I'm already talking. Okay, so that's the messy part. That's the messy part. part. Right. Yeah. Standing thing, in front of everybody ain't messy. See, what I've also learned as an adult <laughs> and, like, as I've gotten older or whatever, when it comes to, like, when it comes to, um, when it comes to shit like that, like, people, people take everything fucked up. So, if this is somebody that you really care about or whatever, you can touch on it, but then you just gotta leave it alone and mind your business after a certain point because it's like, then, you know what I'm saying, even if the person loves you and even if they don't, they're gonna feel a way depending on what information it is that you're trying to relay to them i just mm. learned in this day and time people so sensitive man they don't want you to say nothing you can't say nothing mm -mm. that's you where we at that's just what it is bro that's, that's why are. from 2012 tweets they coming back saying sorry because the world has got so sensitive yeah you can't that's be true. real because exactly. if you real you messy yeah you real you messy you, you right. fake okay. or you know yeah. or you hating you, you hating, hating or something mm -hmm. and, and you is. really miserable like, they feel like you really miserable but really i ain't miserable i'm really happy I'm just telling you how I feel. You yeah. came, you know, <laughs> right? And that's I it. Separate it though. See, uh, see the see the difference is, I feel like it'll be some bullshit if a motherfucker call you out and you couldn't accept it. Mm. You know what I'm saying? What see, you mean? Like, just say for instance, if I call everybody out, when I, when I get called out, I just accept it and laugh and or say so. True. <laughs> like that's just my character. Like True. so what? You right? I'm some bullshit. If that was some bullshit, I'm some bullshit. Mm -hmm. I can right. take my lick. Certain people can't. Oh, you saying they some bullshit, the ones that could dish that shit out but can't take it. Exactly. The and that's the facts. world we live in. Biggest A facts. lot of people are like that, though. Yeah, they that's the world we live in. But then sensitive. soon you say something to them, they like, man, they some bullshit people. Exactly. It's a yeah. sensitive world. This is the most sensitive the world has ever been. The best thing to do is Mind let people business. be what they do. Do what they do. Mm -hmm. Unless it's family and you feel like you should tell your family about they bullshit. But you can think you family with a motherfucker and they not your family. And be True. around. You gotta evaluate around. That, 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 that is very much and be so. You gotta them. evaluate it. You Fact. definitely gotta weigh Fact. it up like And you, you can be around it for 30 years. And you be exactly. like, right. you gotta evaluate yeah. it. Until that one situation happens and then They got a whole like, huddle. They got a whole huddle saying, man, you know goddamn, don't say nothing around him because you know he gonna goddamn blow it out of proportion. Bruh, you got, you saying this to motherfuckers who ain't finna tell you the truth. Right. Mm -hmm. That's true. Mm -hmm. The truth, like, hey man, don't ask Bank shit. Don't tell Bank shit, cause he gonna say the truth or what it is. No matter who wrong or who right, I'm here both parties and tell you, on my opinion, you wrong in this situation, bro. Yeah. Like, think about if he if he thinking about it like this. People don't want to hear that. Everybody want to be right. That's how 
war start and the beef and everything else because just because I'm in my feelings, I'm right. Yeah, and then when you tell you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. When you telling somebody something, nowadays people don't listen to like hear people listen to respond so that they can, you know what I'm saying, yes. clap back mm-hmm. and get their point yes. across yes. Mm-hmm. because they feel instantly attacked before you even say anything. Thanks. Because why are you saying anything to me in the first place? But that goes back to what Black was just saying, like, you just can't say shit. Can't say, can't shit. say shit. I learned that That's shit. a peaceful After place. 43 years, I've learned. <laughs> right, you can't tell no nigga the truth. Right. Mm. Unless they, they don't want to hear the truth. They don't the even truth. want the truth. Even if they, they ask, ask me for the truth, bro, do what you feel, King. Yeah. I don't I even can't... think people really ask you for the truth. I think people really just be wanting agreements. Yes. Right. I ain't going to agree with you, though. Right. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to yes, man. With I'm you. just going to be like, bro, that shit, bro, figure it out. Because just think about how many times you right. a person asks you a question and then you'll give them the answer and then they'll try to re ask the question yes. in another yes. type of way yes. for that answer to change and what they really wanted to hear yeah. anyway. But you know, some you got some people that got them really want the truth though. I ain't gonna mm-hmm. lie. Absolutely. You got some nigga, I got a couple niggas that call me and be like, big, they got them saying this, woo woo woo. But what you think? Because mm-hmm. they knowing they finna get the truth. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? You got to be able to weed, weed them out. Mm-hmm. Right, but that's yeah. a huge compliment, though, for people that's people that to call t- you to get the truth to know and to want to hear the truth from you. Like that's a that's a big deal. Yeah, it is. Like because some people you won't should, call you certain should, people. You should feel like you should feel. Nah, like I'm saying I got a shit, couple like, buddies like that. They gonna call and get the real truth, like because they like, know you're gonna give them the real deal. Exactly. And I got a couple buddies gonna tell me truth, like just say if I'm like we just talking about the other day. If I'm upset with Shantae and I'm gone for two three days. Ballhead gonna call me and be like, "Oh, you still playing hard?" <laughs> yeah. But you got some more nigga be like, "Goddamn, shit, yeah, yeah, bro." You knowing I'm lying to myself, yeah. right? Knowing you finna tricking go tricking yourself bro. out right. the game. Yeah. Instead of just saying, "Bro, going on home, bro," you looking skinny like you, you tripping, like bro, you looking at <laughs> your head, bro. Go home, you eating, you <laughs> suffering, kid. Yeah. You looking That's skinny. Your home. <laughs> you looking skinny. <laughs> Yeah, like, bro, hey, you ate? You look bad, man. You know you go ain't ate. You look bad, go home. Yeah, Looking go dry home, and shit. Bro. Yeah, like, get the fuck on, man. Like, <laughs> Come on, bro. Oh, oh man. Really? Playing hard. <laughs> Damn. So what do y'all feel about, I know we talking peace, but what do you feel about the, the phrase, then, the truth shall, shall set you free? Since we kind of say It do set can. you free. I free think of it your does. friendship. So you tell a nigga true, no he gonna set your ass free, bro. I can't fuck with that nigga no more. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yeah. That's the whole term. The truth shall set you free of your friendship. Yeah, yeah, that shit. <laughs> nigga gonna tell you fuck you because you told him the truth. Uh, nah, but it's just like when you when you living in a lie, is is that shit is harder than working a job because it's like you gotta keep you gotta try to keep More up lies. with too much shit. Yeah. You gotta try to remember this, remember that, remember what you did over here, remember what you said over there, so that it doesn't conflict with what you gotta do tomorrow and yesterday and all this old shit. Like that shit, that shit be too much. Like, yeah, like then you really much. start losing yourself because you don't know what's real with yourself or what's fake. <laughs> yeah, so like, you become a whole easy. fucking character. <laughs> so, sound like sound like a lot of entertainers. Not all. You just gotta like release your heart, man. Release your mind and your heart, man. You gotta clear that shit out, bro. That's the only way you're going to be at peace mm-hmm. and have true serenity. So And have the right people around you. Yeah. That's that had exactly. negative people around that's you. You had negative people around you, you're going to have negative thoughts. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If we have a negative conversation, it's going to be, you're going to be in a negative place. Mm-hmm. 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 I agree. Yeah. All right. We'll be at peace. Be at serenity. Any final words? Any advice for the people out there seeking peace that don't know how to? Meditate. Meditate. I like Go to that. counseling. Yeah, man. Do self constructive criticism. Shit. I do not do yoga. You have to accept constructive criticism. In the park, that shit is like hot the best yoga. shit ever. Hot park. yoga in the park. Ooh, How man. they make it hot <laughs> in the park? No, I'm saying you got. You can't only do it in the summertime, but like at Piedmont Park, they have hot yoga where you sit outside and it's like you. It's just Google it. It's it's some she shit lying. you need to try. <laughs> she lying. She ain't never did no damn. Yoga. <laughs> <laughs> I do. High I feel yoga. like she, I tried to go to yoga, but the goddamn instructor was too pretty. Shantae didn't like this. That's not how you presented it. What I say? How he presented? 
I'm going to yoga class, and she and she gonna help on her yoga outfit. <laughs> <laughs> he had you yoga fucked up. What? And I'm, and I'm finna wear my wig Khalees short. <laughs> <laughs> So you gonna get yogi. you you gonna get you in there yoga teacher for me to <laughs> fuck that yeah, 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 yeah. she glad to let that thing thing <laughs> <laughs> over there bending up <laughs> get bent show me how to do it <laughs> <laughs> that is hilarious oh, alright be at peace find serenity and check us out www.bigfactspod.com it's another Big Facts Friday salute You're listening to Big Facts with Big Bank and DJ Scream.